ladies and gentlemen, we are about to talk about the typical ghetto love story. And I'm sorry to report it that way, but in my opinion, that's how I feel about this story. And you're getting ready to hear why I feel about this story. I don't know if you guys have heard about this out of Calhoun County, South Carolina, but it's a crazy story of a mom, her daughters, and this crazy ass fool on my screen right now. Calhoun County, South Carolina, please step up to the front of the room. We got to talk about y'all for a moment, okay? This woman is a mother and two of her children, as well as her, were shot to death Sunday night by a man who then killed himself. And that's according to Calhoun, Cal Calhoun County Sheriff's Department in South Carolina. That woman's name that you see on my screen is Shantae or S-H-A-N-T-A. -A. I'm assuming that's Shantae. Shantae Singleton was 37 years old. She's my age. Essence Strowman, who was her daughter, was 15 years old. These pictures will be a little bit small, so I'm sorry that they're a little bit small to see, okay? Essence Strowman, one of her daughters, 15 years old. And Treve Strowman, another one of her daughters, 12 years old. And one of her other daughters was shot too, but she survived. But these three were killed in the shooting, according to Calhoun County Coroner's Office. Now, let's get back to the boyfriend. Da -da 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 -da. What's my hashtag, guys? What is my famous hashtag? The AFC hashtag is when you date thugs, you date death. Hmm? How many times have I said that? Y'all think it's cute just because y'all look good in pictures. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. Y'all think y'all look good because y'all out of town with the palm trees in the background. We got on nice outfits. We we looking good. We stunting on them hoes, right? This my boo. This my baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Yeah, another nice picture. I'm gucci out head to toe looking good with my outfits on and my headbands and blah, blah, blah. Right? Matching from head to toe with my earrings, got my hair, nails, and toes dead. All I'm saying is that the dynamic of dating these horrible ass choice of dudes is going to lead to bad results. Now, do y'all want to hear what happened? Anybody want to hear what happened? Well, like the hit, hit go. Gabriel Jordan, who is 37 years old, he's also my age. He is accused of killing the three before killing himself. So this was a murder, multiple murder, suicide, damn near a mass shooting. All right. The incident happened Sunday in Bugle Flower Lane in St. Matthews. Investigators say that Singleton, the mother, Shantae Singleton, was on her way home from Myrtle Beach with her daughters when they realized that they were being followed. How many of y'all know where Myrtle Beach is? I'm going to give you a precursor, if I'm using that word right. I'm going to give y'all a precursor to lead you guys up to what actually happened in this story. First of all, I want you to bookmark the word. She was on her way home from Myrtle Beach. Bookmark that statement. On her way home from Myrtle Beach with her daughters. Because there is something missing in that part of the story. Let me just go ahead and tell you. Let me just cut the suspense, okay? She was at Myrtle Beach with someone, which is the thing that caused her to be followed. Hmm? Uh-oh. It's getting a little hot in here. Y'all, please make sure and click that thumbs up. Share the stream. Let everybody know that we're live. We got a good amount of people in the building. Click the thumbs up. Click the thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Thank you to those who already did. So I gave you a precursor. Let's get it. Investigators say that Shantae Singleton was on her way home from Myrtle Beach with her daughters when they realized that they were being followed. Gabriel Jordan was in the car behind them. So to the people in the chat, here's what I want you guys to absorb for a moment. Why would she be in a place like Myrtle Beach with her daughters without her current boyfriend? 
Don't y'all find that a bit odd? Maybe he couldn't get off of work. Maybe he didn't have his own money. Maybe they were going through some issues, huh? Don't y'all think that's a little bit odd for them to be taking a family trip when a big portion of the family was not there? Y'all don't find that odd so far? Let me give you guys the rest of the story and you'll figure out why it's a little bit odd. Gabriel Jordan was following them in a car behind them. When they arrived at home, deputies say that, uh, that Shante Singleton and Gabriel Jordan got into an argument. That's when Jordan went inside the home and grabbed a gun. So clearly he had access to the house. Let me say that again. Clearly he had access to the house still. So that either means A, he had a key, or B, he kicked in the door. But chances are, if the gun was in the house and he knew where the gun was and he had access to the house, I'm thinking he probably had a key, right? So that means to me that he was still living there. Oh shit, yes, it's getting deep. We're getting ready to step knee deep in this shit here, okay? So in my opinion, he still had a key. He still lived there. And she took a trip without him. Okay? Now, they got into an argument. And that's when Gabriel went inside the home and grabbed a gun. He started to choke Singleton, her. Then he shot her. Also, her daughter, Treve Strowman, the, uh, one of the kids, jumped on Jordan's back and tried to take him down. Lord Jesus, bless these children. Mm, 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 mm. Mom got choked, mom got shot, and one of the kids tried to jump in on this big old huge looking dude. One of these little bitty frail kids. Let me show y'all a picture of these kids. I'm sorry, but none of these children are very big. Not big enough to try to take down a grown ass man. I'm gonna show y'all a group picture of them. Right here, look at this picture and you tell me which one of these girls do y'all think could take that grown man down? Huh, Anybody, any of them? Cute family pictures, but notice that he's significantly, almost he's almost twice the size of the mom. And then look at those girls compared to the height and size of their mom. So, one of the children Look how big that dude is. Sorry guys, but I might think twice about jumping on this big ass fucking dude. It's a big guy. He is a huge, big guy. One of the daughters, Trevay Strowman, jumped on Gabriel's back and tried to take him down. That's when he shot that baby. He shot her and killed her. Essence ran back into the home. That's when Gabriel Jordan followed her into the home and he shot and killed Essence. Then Singleton's 18 year old daughter, Shantasia Strowman suffered a gunshot wound to the arm. So he tried to kill her too but she was treated and released uh, from the hospital, okay? Now, deputies say that they responded to the home around seven that evening and discovered four bodies with gunshot wounds. Two other children who were at the home at the time were able to escape. Officials say that they ran to a neighbor's home for help. The neighbor greeted jo uh, Gabriel Jordan on his back porch and told him to leave. One child was unharmed while the other was shot in the arm and is being treated at the hospital. Gabriel Jordan, I want y'all to hear this. Gabriel Jordan was the father of one of the children, but it's unclear if it's one of the deceased children or the one that escaped said authorities. I'm gonna read that again. And the reason why I repeat this is because it's a lot to, to take in. Gabriel Jordan, the dude who did this, is confirmed to be the father of one of her four children. 
Let's take a look at that family photo again. I want y'all to look at this. Y'all see his face. Y'all see her face. Two dark skinned people. And I want y'all to look at the family photo. If I can get it up. Right here. Which one of those kids do you think was his? Because honestly, I couldn't tell. I could not tell at all. But I'm going to tell you that this woman at least has two baby daddies. One being Gabriel Jordan and the other one being another man, which we're getting ready to talk about here in a minute. So she might have multiple da baby daddies. Plus, there's more to this story. Are y'all ready to hear the rest? I know this is getting crazy. Y'all bear with me, okay? We don't know which one of these girls was his. But Calhoun County Sheriff Thomas Summers said that the slayings were a result of a domestic violence argument that went really bad. Now, here's where the rubber starts to meet the road. Singleton and Jordan were together on and off for many years. Let me read that again. This man and the mom were together on and off for many years. You know what that says to me? That means that this whole back and forth bullshit, he was probably fucking around, she was probably fucking around. It's a stupid thing to do. And the fact that this woman has that many kids, you are putting your children and your body at risk, not only for sexual diseases, but bringing that many kids around your, or, 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 that many men around your kids? That's at least two and the possibility of more. I'm gonna tell you there's a reason why I say that. Singleton told Jordan, Shante told that man that you see on my screen, you see he's clearly bigger than her, a lot bigger than her. The mom told the boyfriend that she was going to break up with him because she had a new boyfriend who also went to Myrtle Beach with them. <laughs> Woo! Did y'all catch what I just said? I'm going to say it again. I don't think we had enough people. I don't think 300 people heard what I just said. The mom told that fool that y'all see on my screen that she was going to break up with him because the mom had a new boyfriend who also went to Myrtle Beach with her and her daughters. Hello. <laughs> Chantel said, wait, what? Yes, that's what I told y'all. It's going to be crazy. Before y'all go saying R.I.P. mom, oh, she was a good mom. She was a great mom to her girl. She loved her daughters and this and that. I'm sorry, but you don't love your kids if you continue to bring anybody and everybody around your kids. Did y'all mark what I just said? A parent, whether it be a mother or a father, hashtag not all. I do not think a parent is a suitable parent if they are willing to bring any Tom, Dick, Harry, Mary, or Jane around their children. Yes, we can at least agree to that, right? It makes you a questionable parent if you're just willy-nilly having people around your fucking kids, knowing how much stuff is going on out here in this world with kids being raped, kids being shot, kids being molested, kids being kidnapped, abducted, sold into sex trafficking. Hello. Anybody hear me? No, nobody. Nobody hears what I'm saying right now. No, nobody. Everybody must think I'm the crazy one, right? I'm a coon. I'm over here. I'm over here tap dancing for the white man. I'm over here spinning a narrative just to make black people look bad. Apparently, that's what I'm doing, right? But maybe some people like the AFC and our channel members and our moderators, some people actually heard me say, don't. Bring strangers around your children. Hashtag stranger danger. Hello.
this alkaline water is real good. It's got my brain focused right now. The argument began outside of the home, according to reports. The daughter said that when the mother told Jordan of her intentions to leave him and she had a new boyfriend that she was going to go to Myrtle Beach with and go get her freaky deaky on, he became irate and he ran into the house where he retrieved a gun and came back outside. Now, I always say this and I know people don't like it when I say nigga lions in the nigga zoo. The reason I say that is because of the fact that these dudes, these thugs are like wild animals. Y'all understand? And to me, wild animals are generally kept at zoos. They're not domestic, they're wild as shit. And to me, these thugs are like wild animals because as soon as you do the wrong thing, move the wrong way, say the wrong thing, don't feed them on time or just they having a bad freaking day, what do these wild animals at the zoo do? They attack what is around them. AKA your children. They'll take it out on the trainer who is the mom. The animal trainer in this case is the mom. She thought she could contain this nigga lion and this nigga lion when she pissed off the nigga lion and smacked the nigga lion in the face said, I got me as a new man. I was going to give some of this fat booty to one of these other thugs out here since you ain't putting it down right since you ain't a real man since you don't want to go down and do this and that and blah, blah, blah. She probably talked cash shit to this man. What y'all want to bet? I know ain't nobody going to admit it, but women have a tendency to either make men enhance themselves or turn men into the worst of themselves, which is why I believe it's a dangerous thing for women to be the only ones who are raising kids with no male influence, because all of those kids that are being raised by only women are going to learn only from the mother's perspective. That is dangerous for everybody. Understand? Everybody understand, I hope. He became irate and the nigga lion went, yeah, 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 and went and mauled the shit out the mom. And then the little baby tried to come and jump on the back of the nigga lion. And the nigga lion turned around and said, yeah, 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 and mauled that little kid. And then now his emotions are up. He's, he's in a rage. He's, 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 he's hyped up. And then he, oh shit, there's another one running and he, Ah, ah, and, and jumped and murdered one of the other kids and tried to kill everybody in sight. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Hashtag when you date thugs, you date death. I'm getting ready to talk about that picture here in a minute. And I want y'all to look at where that man's hand is in that picture. Now he might not even be the guy that went to Myrtle Beach, but I'm going to talk about him here in just a moment. Okay. So I want you to keep that picture in your head. The daughter said that when the mom told her of her intentions, the boyfriend became irate and ran into the house and grabbed a gun and came back outside, which is where he choked her and shot her. Singleton, Shantae Singleton told her daughters to go inside the house. While they were inside, they watched Jordan choke their mother by the shed in the backyard. At that time, the daughters went outside and they said, screw that. And they went out to try to help their mama. The Calhoun County Sheriff's Office and the Calhoun, Calhoun County Coroner's Office are continuing to investigate this story. But to me, it's a pretty clear case of this woman doing too damn much. I'm going to show you why. The man that you guys see in this picture right here. That is the biological father of one of her four children. I know this is why y'all love to come to my channel because Just Jay always brings forth a very, very full story. I'm going to say that again. That man with his hand all up on her ass. Y'all see that, right? Oh, you say y'all can't see it? Okay, I got you. Y'all say y'all can't see that picture. You need Just Jay to blow it up just a little bit so you guys can see how much ass he has in his hand. Let's blow this picture up just for a moment. 
This is the biological father of one of her four children. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Want you guys to also notice something else. Boom. If you ask me, these pictures, in my opinion, don't appear to be that far different as far as time frame. They seem to be within a certain time frame, maybe five years, maybe a couple of years. I don't know. I'm speculating. But all I'm saying is that this woman looks the very same, got the very same shape, looked like she's already had the four kids, and here she is in a photo with these guys in a similar fashion. I know for sure that the one on the right is the biological father of one of the kids. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because of this. I believe that Shantae, the biological mother, Shantae Singleton, didn't go to Myrtle Beach with either one of these dudes. <laughs> Y'all want me to say that again? I personally believe that she did not go to Myrtle Beach with either one of the dudes that you see on my screen and they both are fathers to her children. Hello. Y'all said it's too much for your brain. That's why I wanted to present this story. Because one thing you will not see is a comprehensive story in the news the way that I'm breaking this shit down. I believe that she had a completely new dude. And I want y'all to think about this. The mom didn't even wait until Gabriel, the boyfriend on the left, she didn't even wait for him to move out of the house. Can somebody type that in the chat for me? The mom didn't even wait until this dude moved out of the house before she said that she was already sleeping with another man. If you go to Myrtle Beach and take your kids to Myrtle Beach with another man, you are sleeping with that man. Don't don't call me with no bull crap. Email me talk about you don't know if she was sleeping with that man. Bull crap. If you're putting all of that on the line, I'm sorry, but any man who's putting himself on the line and being in a situation like that is definitely going to be getting some ass. That's the damn truth, even if people don't want to admit it. But let me give you guys the fair usage because we got some more to talk about. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 USC 107. Here's the videos. Let's get it. Columbia police announced the arrest of 23 year old, a 23 year old mother accused of setting a car on fire with her 14 month old child inside. Kaylin Watson is currently behind bars charged with attempted murder, arson and great bodily injury to a child. Watson is accused of setting her car on fire with her baby inside the vehicle. The incident happened yesterday afternoon along I-26, I-126 near the Greystone Boulevard exit. The boy suffered severe burns and is in critical condition at the- That is the wrong video. I thought I swapped these videos out, my bad, hold on. Now that we have the right video up, here we go. Around 7 p.m. Sunday, Calhoun County deputies pulled up to a home on Bugleflower Lane near Route 176 and found four bodies, including those of 37-year-old Shanta Singleton and her two daughters, 15-year-old Essence Stroman and 12-year-old Treve Stroman. The entire thing was, was violent and senseless, and uh, it's just incredibly disturbing to me. 
Sheriff Summers says 37-year-old Gabrielle Jordan shot Singleton and her two daughters after an alleged domestic dispute escalated into violence. Two other children managed to escape the home and ran for their lives around the neighborhood. And he look up here and look out, help, help, help me, help me. He said the man was behind with the gun. Some neighbors say an in I'm going to play that again. I did not understand. Guys, I promise you, I'm not trying to be mean to the neighbors. But I did not understand a word that this woman just said. Let me play that again. Home and ran for their lives around the neighborhood. And he look up here and look out. Help, help, help me, help me. He said the man was behind with the gun. Somebody I heard her say, help me, help me, help me. I did not understand anything else that Catherine White said. I'm sorry, ma'am, but whew, boy, that must be the deep south. I'm sorry. Lord Jesus. And he look up here and look out. Help, help, help me, help me. He said the man was behind with the gun. Some neighbors say an incident like this is very unusual for their community, and some are having a tough time taking it all in. Do something, man. Never swear, swear in my life before. This is a sad time for the neighborhood and a sad time for, it's a sad time for everybody now. Sheriff Summers. Y'all know y'all want to laugh. Be honest. I didn't understand a word that she said. Oh, my Lord. Let's move on. Because it ain't about her. Lord, have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Says his deputies never responded to any domestic incidents at the home prior to Sunday. He says an incident like this serves as a reminder for couples to seek help before frustration boils over into violence. I just hope that anybody that's a victim of domestic violence will see this and see what can happen, what can be the end result, and cry out for help. Call us. Let us help. Let, let us intervene before something like this happens. Tim Scott, ABC Columbia News. Somebody in the chat said that's Geechee Gullah territory. That is an unexplored area of the South. I'm sorry, bro. But, but I've been, look, I've been all kinds of South between Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, man. And, and I've been in some small towns and I haven't heard language that bad, but it's not about her. Let's move on, Just Jay. Just Jay, let's move on, sir. A mother and two of her children are dead after deputies say her boyfriend shot the family at their Calhoun County home. Two other children managed to escape and they're safe. Kaylin Hagwood has the story. This is a home where neighbors say tragedy struck in St. Matthew Sunday evening in an otherwise quiet community. A mother and two of her children are dead. Investigators say they were shot by the mother's boyfriend after an argument. Calhoun County Sheriff Thomas Summers says they're still working to find out how things got out of control. I don't know what the motive was. I don't know what occurred, what the argument was about. We're still working on that. But this, unfortunately, was the end result of it. 37-year-old Shanta Singleton and her two teenage children, Essence and Treve, were killed. Two other children escaped, one wounded, before deputies say the gunman took his own life. The sheriff says they had not been to the home for similar calls in the past. It was unusual because we hadn't been to that house for anything related to that. With this coronavirus, people are stuck inside. We've seen a slight increase in our domestic violence calls. And this is just another instance. Linda Gran, a neighbor of the family, was inside her home when she says emergency personnel came riding through. And I said, oh my God, you know, what did happen? My heart goes out to the family because I just can't even imagine how they feel. I can't even, I can't even make myself comprehend that. Now, I want y'all to notice, even with this woman who lives in the same area, even her verbiage didn't sound as bad as that other lady. Calhoun County, South Carolina. Let me give a shout out to Love My Kind, $2 Super Chat. Thank you, thank you very much, said hello AFC and hello to you. Shout out to Love My Kind. Let me give a big shout out. She is in the chat. That is Kydra and Kydra said, keep up the good work, Jay, with the heart emojis. And she sent me a awesome cash app. So shout out to you, Kydra. And I hope you're listening. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate that. You know, because that's something you would wish that never happened to anyone. In Calhoun County, I'm Kaylin Hagwood. The coroner has identified the gunman as 37-year-old Gabrielle Jordan. Sheriff Summers said investigators 
are still interviewing witnesses and others who may have information on a motive. She said, Gabrielle, it's Gabriel. It, it was a dude. Uh, all right. That's the wrong video, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that one. Anyway, to wrap up this story, guys, that's the house that this happened at. And I got to tell you, man, that's got to be some crazy stuff. And for the neighbors to say that they were shocked that this happened, I'm going to tell you guys, unless they only been in this town for a little bit amount of time in that house for a little bit amount of time, those neighbors had to have seen these arguments and fights or heard them before. I don't think it was the first time, but it definitely was the last time, especially for the mom and two of her four kids. That is so messed up. And like I said, I'm not here to put the blame on the mom and say that the mom deserved what she got. Everybody understand that. I'm not here to say that she's deserved what she got. But what I am here to say is that if you put yourself and your children in a dangerous situation, that bad things are going to happen. Put that in a box, tie a bow around it, wrap it up, and here it is. That's all I'm saying. Nothing more, nothing less. I hate when people try to take what I say and make this shit into way more and, and de dig deeper into really trying to figure out what I'm saying. It's just that simple. If the stove is on hot and it's red and it's glowing and you take yourself over and I tell you, hey, don't put your hand on that stove and you walk your ass over there and you put the hand, the hand on the stove and it burns your hand. Am I saying that you deserve to burn your hand? I'm not saying anything. What I had to say was in the fact that I told you when you date thugs, you date death. That's self-explanatory. So what happened in this situation? The mom played with her baby daddy's emotions. And I can almost be willing to bet you guys anything. If one of the biological fathers wanted to come out and interview with me, which I'd be happy to do so and have him come on and tell his side, I can guarantee you that one of those baby dads will come out and say that, yep, she kind of did something similar to me too. Because you know why? Because this woman thought that she looked good. She She's still fine after four kids. She still got it going on. And can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm a boss. I got my own house. I got my own car. I got on red bottoms. We going to Myrtle Beach. She thought she just had it mm, 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 going on. Because she believes in this idea that most women, not all, but most women in her situation believe that you got to be a bad bitch. You got to be, you know, you got to be a mom. You ain't, you ain't nothing if you ain't got kids and your kids love you. They'll do anything for you. And these men grovel at your feet. And what one man won't do. Another man will. Oh, you won't do this? You won't spend your whole paycheck on me? Well, guess what? This sucker over here, I mean, this brother over here will. That was not in, That was not an accident. That was actually intentional. This brother, I mean, this sucker over here, since you won't pay for my trip to Myrtle Beach, this sucker, this brother over here will. I know the mentality of most of these chicks. And like I said, I'm not saying that's who she went with which is one of her baby daddies right there. What I'm saying is that she went with somebody, somebody else besides those two. And I'm thinking it was probably somebody brand new. Now, if you still lived in the house with this woman with her three kids and one of those kids being yours, and I think that he had other kids also, what man wouldn't get upset by a woman threatening him with a bad time and her having a good time and go giving up her precious temple, her body to another man carelessly and recklessly while you are still living at the house with all of them. That's crazy. That's insane to think that something bad is not going to happen. And in my opinion, the mother didn't think enough about the four children that she already had. She did not think enough about her kids to not put them in harm's way. And what she did 
by de dealing with multiple men and having multiple men in and out of the house and having multiple men for baby daddies and all of this weird dynamic because she personally wanted some personal pleasure. Her personal pleasures meant more to her than her kids did. Based on what we see, based on what we know, based on what was said, and even based on the testimony of her own oldest daughter, who said exactly what this woman said to her boyfriend. I's got me a new man, and we's going to go do freaky things at Myrtle Beach, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. And you gotta live in the house with her. Woo, boy, that's cold. That is cold-blooded. And if y'all don't think that's a cold-blooded ass woman, then guys, I don't know. Maybe you got an ice pump in your chest rather than a heart. Pump it through your body and you just don't give a shit. But in my opinion, she did the ultimate worst thing that we talk about on this show all the time. She put her kids behind her personal feelings. And I'm asking people, and all I'm asking people to do is think more about your children who deserved an opportunity to grow up to be something great. And you robbed them of that opportunity by bringing unfit creatures around your children. It's a dangerous thing to do. And I'm asking you guys to use this story and her story and her children's story as a cautionary tale. Because those two old, those two children that passed away can no longer speak for themselves. And when it came down to the crunch, they couldn't defend themselves against this big ass dude. This fool took the coward way out. Again, his name is Gabriel. Let me see. Gabriel Jordan, 37 years old. The mom's name is Shantae, S-H-A-N-T-A -A, Singleton, 37 years old. He took the selfish way out and he killed himself because he didn't want to face the music as a man. And if you ask me, he was not a man doing what he did. He couldn't just walk away, get yourself out of the situation, come up with an exit strategy, do something, but don't go killing people and hurting people. That just, that's just wrong all the way around. That's all I had to say about this story. And I hope that you guys listen, listen to me with an open mind and an open heart. And if you did, you can receive our message. And our main message is to advocate for children first. Please put your children first. Your feelings, your desires come last behind your children. That is my message, plain and simple. All right, this is your boy DJ Just J, where the AFC where we advocate for children first. From my heart, to yours. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for listening to the sad ass ghetto ass story. That's all I got to say.